So after the critically acclaimed Xbox Showcase of 2024, Phil Spencer, the head of Windows Gaming and Xbox, went on IG into effectively golden shower most of the goodwill the team had just earned. In his new restated commitment to Xbox fans after the showcase, and this new commitment was regarding their first party titles, Phil Spencer now says that they simply are committing to games first on Xbox, day and date on Game Pass, and cross progression with PC. That's it. No further commitment on exclusivity. Their games are coming to other platforms, he said. Honestly, this isn't bad for the more frugal, hmm, let me try it, gamer of the Xbox brass who simply wants the ability to test all games. That is a growing brass within the Xbox community, and, and for those people, I, I totally get it. However, the more hardcore bunch who would love to commit to a platform that would best suit their needs are not fond of this at all. See, they're thinking, hey, if these games are coming to PlayStation, wouldn't it make sense in the traditional sense for me to just get that platform instead so I can have access to even more games? That, my friends, is the, the dynamic created when you have exclusive content made only for your console. FOMO sets in bad and you want in. That's the way it's been for decades. However, Phil Spencer brushed away all those legacy and normal concerns of core gamers abroad and even within his own community and is now calling the approach to exclusive games or exclusive platform games slimy <laughs> oh boy this is the spill let's get into this one yeah. what's up people what's up people what's up people it is your boy mm2k of geeks Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, here, MM2K Gaming back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where I give you the latest and greatest and hot topic news, and I give a rant. We do this Monday through Friday, so check us out here on an MM2K game. So before I go any further, let me just break down the story to you here. Let's check this out right here. So this is a story. This is, this is a tweet coming from uh, Hunter. And it says, Phil Spencer calls PlayStation slimy for paying publishers for exclusive content. Quote, want to give you the choice on how you play your games and how and who you play with and not try to do slimy platform things to force you to do what I want you to do. And so for full context, the video that you're watching on the screen, this is the, an excerpt from this is the actual this is an excerpt from the actual interview that you're watching on the loop, right? Um so the reference to being sleazy is very interesting because Bill Spencer is known to have tried to do the exact same thing. Um with the Bethesda content. That's why this is that's why this is kind of confusing to see him uh take this direction and calling it sleazy. I mean it's confusing, but I'm not shocked. Because I always tell Cold Blood and I always tell you guys, you know, if you listen to content, the feel that you get on Monday is not the same feel that you get on Tuesday. That's that, that's the feel of the same week. Like if Phil tells you something on Monday, that was Monday feel. Tuesday Phil can tell you something totally different and he can absolve himself of what Monday Phil told you. Like he literally thinks that each day renew, rejuvenates himself and clones himself into a new person. That's the way he acts. He had the audacity in the, in the gall in this interview that you're seeing to sit here and talk to people like, yeah, well, some people say that we're inconsistent in our message and all this other stuff. And, and that, my friends, I would call sleazy. Like, I mean, I could give you a prime example. And in order to show you this example, we would have to cut the music and all the other stuff. But I think it's worth it. These are excerpts, three different moments. An excerpt from three years ago, an excerpt from three months ago, and an excerpt from the video with audio that you're watching right now on the screen. Okay. So let's go over here. Let me show you this. Um, this is a tweet from Alejandro uh, or, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, or Alan Droid 1979. Shout out to them. 
So let's first start with the the um, the the excerpt from three months ago. I mean, three years ago. Three years ago, Bethesda was purchased by Xbox. It was first talked about from Tim Stewart and other execs that Xbox isn't looking to make this stuff exclusive. At least, you know, in, in the in the forefront, you know, that they're gonna it's gonna be first, better, or best. Those were the words that they used. But then out of nowhere, after the deal was finalized by the regulators, Phil Spencer goes and does this Xbox Bethesda show uh, or Bethesda sit down or town hall, whatever the hell you want to call it. And he makes the reference to no, now this Bethesda stuff is going exclusive. And when you see the emails that were released in the CMA trial over ABK over Activision Blizzard in regards to what happened with Bethesda, even the execs were shocked. So this is what Phil said three years ago in regards to exclusives. Let's show you that right here. An Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And that's our goal. That's why we're doing this. That's the root of this partnership that we're building. Uh, and the creative capability we will be able to bring to market for our Xbox customers is going to be the best it's ever been for an Xbox customer. Okay, so that's what he says three years ago in regards to the slimy tactic of exclusives, right? But now let's go to three, or that's what he said three years ago. Let's go to three months ago. Four games, no problem. But before we go there, got to remember that this is what happened here is that this is post the ABK deal. Right. And post the APK deal, Microsoft spent seventy five billion dollars total. You know what I mean? After they had to renew the deal um, in order to acquire ABK. It's a lot of it's a lot of bread. And they realized that maybe going exclusive with Bethesda wasn't the best idea. It kind of tripped us up with this ABK deal was used against us to make us do these 10 year deals. And in addition to that, we're looking at ABK's financials and we're seeing how much milk and honey is out there in PlayStation land. Ah, we need to make the 75 billion back and we're not doing it the way that you want to do it, Phil. That plan is X and A. So Phil's got to be the one to break this. You know, he's the, he, he's the, the, the person in charge. He has to break this to the Xbox community. Instead of being fully transparent, Phil goes out and says this. So... Four games, no promise beyond that. So if you're on those other platforms and you see these four games coming, please don't take it as some signal that everything's coming. It's not. So four. So again, his response, not to be, from what we know now, is not to be transparent. It's to make it sound like, look, we're just doing this experiment. We're going to test all four games. You know, it's probably in your best interest to not even expect that. I mean, you know, I mean, and then subsequent interviews with The Verge, they pressed him harder and he was like, look, I can't take nothing off the table. He was all over the place. Very non-transparent, very slimy, right? Yeah. But, you know, just to, you know, put a bow on this, let's show you what he said in the interview that you were seeing on the screen. Our commitment to our Xbox customers. So let's, all right. So again, to rewind, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll rewind once we watch this slimy this good old gooey sliminess from Phil Spencer. Our commitment to our Xbox customers is you're going to get the opportunity to buy or subscribe to the game. We're going to support the game on other screens. And you are going to see more of our games on more platforms. And we just see that as a benefit to the franchises that we're building. And we see that from players, and the players love to be able to play. Well, uh, thank you. There you go. Our commitment to our Xbox... <laughs> Uh, a little dramatic coasting added in by the good old red dragon, right? <laughs> yeah, but with that said, okay, so now we get the full context here of, of Phil's sliminess. Look, at the end of the day, this is Phil projecting, okay? Um, as you can see in the interview here that you're watching on the screen, just by the visuals, Phil is as is, is happy as a kid in a candy store because they had a great showcase all over Twitter. People's like, this is the best showcase ever, best Xbox ever did. And, and we got another video um, where we talk, where we address that, that whole notion as well. Check that one out. That being said, um, Phil 
he's drunk off of enthusiasm and, and excitement and there's something that my grandmammy used to tell me she's from the deep south she used to tell me all the time a drunk man tells no lies you know this guy is zooted off of enthusiasm so you're getting the authentic phil spencer i won't say that he didn't tell any lies but you're getting the authentic phil spencer you're getting the phil spencer who look i don't give a damn uh what i've told you guys in the past that was in the past this is now i don't care how far away it was and this is what we're on now deal with it tough you know tough cookie all right then he goes and says some other things about the closure of studios or whatever that are not truthful but he says it with such you know gumption or whatever and su in such gall it really shows you the sliminess of this dude look you can be slimy and be a jerk attitude wise or you can be slimy nice and sly it's all slimy nonetheless sean layton even had to call it out i don't have the tweets but sean layton vigorously responded all over twitter rightfully so and called out phil spencer or liked at least tweets where phil spencer was being called out this is just a a abhorrent approach to gaming to the game community to the people who you've pilfered and fleeced money from leading them to expect one thing when you knew you were going to completely do something else and now that you feel like that things are going in your favor now i want to tell you the truth you know what for anybody that still that that continues from here on out and continues to boohoo about xbox did this to me and xbox did that to me i don't care we don't care this is our last ditch effort to show you what you're dealing with and if you can't see the light by now that's on you now again i'm not talking to those who genuinely don't care about the the core gaming mechanics like they're they're cool with the game pass they're cool with the games everywhere this is the new xbox brass but for those of you that are the legacy gamers the legacy xbox gamers like myself and you thought that i was just being a flip-flopper and a trader and that this this xbox competing and bringing you the best of the best that that's what's going to come out of this and it was going to be you know it was going to make a singular platform really stand out and shine through uh, uh, in, in the in the words of the late great charlie murphy uh, wrong so there you have it folks a lot of projection from phil spencer you know what i mean and look i'll give kudos to xbox for being able to finally have a good showcase but this right here there's no excuse for that and a showcase ain't ain't the end goal because the last time i checked we play games let's see how all this stuff lands in the long run but that's it that's it from your boy let me know what you think in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me they'll lead you again to geeks Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and MM2K Gaming. With that said, we appreciate all of y'all. Peace. Have a wonderful gaming day.